only bring life to our planet as food and fiber. They're a crucial tool when it comes to removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Now with the help of AI technology, scientists are retrieving faster data to design ideal plants that can limit the impacts of global warming. Chief Meteorologist Carleen Chavis visits the Salk Institute to connect the dots in this Earth 8 report. Artificial intelligence, it's now making its way into plant research. Scientists are trying to find a way to engineer plants, all in the effort to combat climate change. Let's take a look at it. So if you've seen uh, in behind the scenes footage of people, of actors wearing all, uh, all these big motion capture suits with these balls and these little dots, the principle is the same, except that we do it without a suit. This new technology is called sleep, but these mice, bees, flies, and gerbils aren't snoozing in this study. SLEAP, spelled S-L-E-A-P, stands for Social Leap Estimates Animal Poses. This software uses the ability of computers to analyze images and AI technology to train computers to absorb information like a human brain. It will curate images that show animal features and now plants at a faster rate. What used to take more than 10 hours a day now only takes minutes. Unlike previous approaches that rely on the equivalent of, if you imagine, coloring in the inside of the plant as if it were a coloring book, instead, we're treating them like a Hollywood actor. You're just trying to find the points that characterize the shape of its, of its body or its roots. And these plant roots are ready for their close-up, Mr. DeMille. And what we've now done is We've taken all of the images and pictures that they take of the plants that are growing inside of these, these gels and use sleep to capture the, the, the structure and shape of those plant root systems. The data helps to analyze root details like depth, mass, and angle of growth. This new technology will be used to enhance a plant's natural ability to draw carbon dioxide out of our air, which is a contributing factor to global warming. Plants are the world champion of taking carbon dioxide out of the air and putting it into their biomass or even in the soil. And they are more efficient than any machine that we have built so far. With sleep, scientists are working towards engineering salk ideal plants, ones with deep roots that will help combat this and other environmental issues. Wolfgang explains how it works. So that sleep then can analyze these pictures and measures the root traits. So we put this cylinder here in this water bath to increase the optical properties. And then we have a, a big camera lens here that takes pictures of the cylinder. It is illuminated here with an infrared light from the, from the back to increase the picture quality. And we can use this automated turntable to take pictures of every angle of the cylinder. In this case, we have made a genetic change. Sometimes there are hurdles in nature that can prevent deep root growth. Note the circular shapes created by the roots of these rice plants. These roots are having a hard time punching through a tough layer in the lower gel that mimics soil, which is a problem if you want to have deep roots. We use sleep to count the number of roots that have made it through these in this hot layer. And by looking at thousands of plants, we can find genes that make roots punch through much better. The data collected will be used to help with the development of crops. Yes, gel cylinders and soil are different, but AI will indicate to scientists what they have to measure in the gel system precisely so changes can be made in the soil. From crop development to combating climate change, this technology presents a key to a flourishing planet. We grow plants everywhere in agriculture on billions of hectares worldwide. So if we can make plant roots better to store the carbon for longer in the soil, we will have removed carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and we will have addressed the cause of global warming and climate change. Two green thumbs up for this collaboration. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis. We're living more and more with the impacts of climate change, more severe weather. We're yes. seeing it all around the globe. How confident are they that this kind of approach can make a real impact? Very. We are talking about a lot of those cylinders you just saw in that mm -hmm. story. They analyzed about a thousand of those. Uh -huh. You now have AI technology that was able to give them information that they needed that used to take more than 10 hours in about a couple minutes. In a few Amazing. minutes. So, wow. Oh, yeah. The information that's coming in from that, you're also talking about 3D imaging. I've been doing stories with the Institute for quite a while now. And my next story with them is actually talking about how heat 
how they can actually create plants in the roots that can also combat the heat. So San Diego saving planet. It really is. Love I'm so it. proud. It's so 